Blood suckers, and I am actually doing something that I've never done, which is a banlid. Uh -huh. Did I just really say banlid? Ban list of a um for Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel, and I was even like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it. So we're gonna start with the unlimited. Uh, let me look at my list here. I got written down. First step is Thunder Dragon Colossus. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to be happy about this, but honestly, I don't see a problem with it because that's just my personal opinion with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, Colossus is a pain to deal with, especially when you're going up against a deck that doesn't really use Thunder Dragons, but Colossus is primarily used in Thunder Dragon now, especially on Master Duel. So I don't think it's that big of a deal to, for them to have him back. Uh, in the next is Water Enchantress of the Temple. I believe that's Ice Jade or Ice Barrier. Uh, so, oh, I'm not really familiar, but I know that this card is used in one of those two decks, or maybe both. I don't know. Um, I don't know about this one because, again, I'm not really familiar with the card. I don't see that many Ice Jade or Ice Barrier players when I play. But I'm sure it's not best to have right now. And what I mean by that is to go against, but it is what it is for that one. Um, Change of Heart is now unlimited. <laughs> Change of Heart, I am kind of... 50 50 about because I don't know. It, in Master Duel, it was never really used much, but there are decks that use it. But it again, it wasn't used that much. It's just there were like a handful of decks that does use it. And I don't know. I guess it's okay. Chaos. No, oh wait, no, sorry. Not Chaos Space yet. We are going to get to that though. Um, the next one is Eradicator Epidemic. Infendet. I can't say the second word. But it's Eradicator, guys. I mean, okay, yeah. I guess we'll get that scene played a lot more now as well but that's fine I guess oh and for those that don't know um the master duel ban list is kind of similar to the OCG ban list but it's follows its own rhythm as well so cards that are on the master duel ban list will some be OCG cards as well but others will be their own choice as well and when you'll see that when we get to the semi-limited and limited sections uh next let's go sarcophagus wait is that no nope, that's not see I just Sorry, I just messed up. <laughs> I haven't been feeling good today, so if I mess up a couple times, that's why. But next is Chaos Space. Uh, I mean, Chaos Space is okay. It's a, it's technically a floodgate, but not really at the same time. So I'm okay with Chaos Space. Now on to the semi limits. For semi limited is Fire King High Avatar Karen, which is I kind of hate that Fire Kings are getting. Even though I was never gonna really play them, I did play Fire Kings originally in the TCG. Well, I still play TCG, and, I, and that's not even the new Fire Kings. That's the old ones. 
but it's kind of sad to see them get in a hit, but I know why they did it, Snake Eyes. Because it's Snake Eyes. They basically use everything, and Fire Kings is one of the archetypes they use, so of course that was going to get hit to hit Snake Eyes without directly hitting Snake Eyes. Um, and then we get Ghost Sarcophagus. Now, Ghost Sarcophagus at Semi Limited is okay because if you, you can use. Okay, how can I explain this? Think of it as Dimension Capsule. Dimension Capsule is a little slower. Well, no, not really slower, but. The difference is, Gold Sarcophagus doesn't have to stay on the field, while its counterpart Dimension Capsule does for the two turns. So Dimension Capsule's technically better in that, well no, not better, it's technically a downgrade even though it's after Gold Sarcophagus came out. Like, it's the sequel to Gold Sarcophagus, I guess you could say. It's like, okay, it's the GX Sarcophagus. It's a better way to say that, but... I think, um... And TCG, Gold Sarcophagus was banned for a while. That's why GX kind of created the Dimension Capsule. But, um... I think Gold Sarcophagus... Coming to 2 now is okay because it's better than its counterpart, but only the, by the fact that it doesn't have to stay on the field, so, but its effect is practically the same, so it's not a big deal. Um, now, you bell got a couple of hits, which... As a U Bell player, you'd probably think I wouldn't be okay with that, but actually, I really am. I'm honestly okay with this because U Bell is OP. Even pure U Bell is OP, and I play pure with tech cards. Um, it's not big hits, so I mean, it's bigger hits than the TCG did. This is what I was talking about. Master Duel will follow OCG to an extent because the OCG did hit you build just like as um, Master Duel is doing a lot better than the TCG did. The only difference is because we don't have Fiend Smith yet in Master Duel, we won't uh, get the Fiend Smith hits that uh, OCG did. So. <clears throat> Anyways, back to it. The first one is Phantom of You. But now, this was hit to 2. That's why this is called Semi Limited. Everything goes to 2 on it. Um, it that doesn't really matter. You Phantom is normally played at 2 anyways. I was playing it at 3 at one point, but decided to go to playing it at 2. So, I don't think that's really a big hit for you, Bell. Um, and then it goes to Dark Beckoning Beast. That's. I guess that's an okay hit. Now, this is a hit, hit mostly for Fiend Link, you, Bell, but still. It's an okay hit. Uh, it's it's not a big one. It's an okay, and the next one is opening the spirit of the gate. Opening opening of the spirit gates again. It's an okay hit for you, Bell. Next, now we go over to the limited snake eyes. Got hit again. Uh, but. This limited from MD is... Uh, 
Okay, I guess. I guess it's okay. Uh, we got Snake Eyes Popular, which is one of their main cards, but I guess because they limited, semi limited Ash, they. Was it Ash I said? Uh, no, I didn't. It was fucking. Sorry, I messed up. I had to go back up the list. But it was Fire King that was hit for Snake Eyes. But only. Well, I mean, Snake Eyes popular. I don't know. That's not gonna really do much for Snake Eyes either. So. Yeah. And the uh, Forbidden is Primobile Planet. Pet. I'm probably gonna say this part wrong. Uh, Pet. Uh, which is a Tyramins card, I believe. So they they kind of hint of Tyramins here. Then the next is Nightmare Corruptor Ebly. Now that is a good hit yeah, for you, but I'll see. I almost used her in my deck, but I was like, nah. Better not. I could have, and I probably would have, but I, was, I just didn't want to. I had other cards that I've been using, so it, that didn't really matter to me. But with, there are um, Fiendlink versions that uses her, and it is a pain to deal with if you can't link off or anything. Like, say if you're using a pure fusion deck, you're not going to use links at all. So, that's a big issue. Um, and then, Jogan does... Jogan the spirit, spiritless, ah, spiritualist. I believe that's. I don't know what that uh, is for. Maybe. I think that's ice shade again. Ice shade, ice barrier. Maybe I don't know, or actually it could be voiceless voice. It's one of those. I don't know. Um, honestly, this list wasn't bad. I think I might have missed one or two cards. I don't know. If I did, I'll put like a little note in the video after I'm done editing, editing it and stuff. But I'm pretty sure I got everything. I wrote this list down a couple of days ago, but I haven't been feeling good. So I don't know if I forgot anything or missed anything. But anyways, I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful night. Or depend or see there I now I'm gonna even mess up my outro. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on where you're watching this. Wow.